Hey guys and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance after quite a while. Anyways, we are gonna finish this, alright? So we are gonna find out who's gonna work in copper and stuff like that, you know. So I need to find someone first of all. They were completely black. And weren't they just dirty? No, definitely not. They were completely black. Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Hey, Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my oh, dream. You were in a boat made of bones, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. All right. Tell that dream. Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. My own pupil in the trade of miracles. Oh, then I'm in luck. On the contrary, I, the lucky one. What's your name, young man? <sighs> Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? First, tell me, who are you, and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant, believer or heathen, I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Uh, just so we're clear, I'm not stealing anything for you. Who said anything about stealing? You said these are valuable things you're after. I don't suppose you can just pick them up anywhere. Valuable for me, because I know their power and strength. For an ordinary mortal, they barely mean anything. Oh. Well, that's fine then. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth, it's gonna be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. Convenient. How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. This topping out, what's that? You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Very well. I'll, I'll get looking for those things. Excellent. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. Sheesh, he's a charlatan. Oh, game save. That's interesting. Well, I guess I need to get the things then. 
freaking great. Yeah, sure. So where do I find them? There, I see. Mm-hmm. Guess I could ask about the the, 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 the player thing the too. This player's talisman. Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. <sighs> Very well. Do you have anything cool? Oh, I guess you do. Speech. That's interesting. And the treasure map. And the wine. Cool. Whatever. Let's get the thing that I guess. I am at your... You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately. True enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I could use a paw like that myself. Then go to the knacker. I'm sure he'll get you one. Let's play. I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> yeah, boy. As you wish. My talisman against your groschen. Deal. Sure. There'd be no point in it otherwise. Yeah, kinda cut him off, but whatever. Let's do it. GG. Well, seems my looks run out. Damn it. Seeing how I lost. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. <laughs> Not to you, anyway. So, thanks for the game. That was freaking simple. Come here. You need to speak. Okay. Speak. Yes, like that. I'm honored that you should come. Yeah, sure. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Isn't that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. No, I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Yeah. Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then, and get this over with. Do you even imagine how how much would it hurt if your teeth would be pulled out without anesthetics? That would suck, okay? That would bloody suck. Let's go. It's gonna be really painful, isn't it? Of course not. Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. Look, I, I can't. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward and I won't be able to handle it. You will. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Hold him tight. Uh, rip let's headphone users. <laughs> ah, look. Jesus it's Christ, out. The agony. Hey, want to keep it as what a memento? I, I love it. This? Oh. All right. Huh. That almost sounded weird. All right, let's go to the something, I guess. The branch from topping out. Okay, we are here. Oh, I suppose that's the thing we need to get. Yeah. Yeah, so how do I get you? Oh, man. I bet you I just needed to shoot it with an arrow. Finally, I got the thing I needed. All right, now let's descend. That was freaking rough. For some reason. All right, now we can just go to the place. 
and give the charlatan everything he needs. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got, lad. The Tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. Yeah. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. Wow. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. One cat paw for luck. Wonderful. Yay. How did you obtain it? You wouldn't believe it. I won it from him. Oh, no, you don't. Now the talisman won't bring its owner luck anymore. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well, luckily it's a cat's paw, so it has other uses. Um, anyways. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So, we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next matter. Go on. I'm shaking with anticipation. There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? A shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes? Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. How can we right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now he's lying in a small church in Sasa. And who was this Lokota? I know only a little. But according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Powdered unicorn horn. Yeah, like, sure, this is legit shit. You won't leave. I'm in a monastery. Finally. See some monks and stuff. Oh, and this is not too hard for me. Yeah, well, I had to mention, I actually increased my lock picking skill by one. Oh, off cam, so that's good. Eh, whatever. I just took a cobweb. Now I'm overweight. Great. Then how much does the cobweb weigh? And how does that work? Want to know both of those questions. Sheesh. Now how do you say if you didn't drink? You won't get it. At least we say that. Daniel Mazur. Mazur? Something like that. Cool, I guess. Oh, also, this is not prohibited for some reason. Oh, right. God save you. What can I do for I see one of your kins passed away. My old father. We're all gonna miss him. Gotta love that sound, though. Those echoes. That's just great. And I don't like that. So you're that. taking care of your father like a true Christian? I'm trying. My father, God rest his soul, deserves nothing less. And have you made atonement for his sins? What? Why? Do you think that's necessary? Of course. I'm sure he was a good Christian, but no man's entirely free of sin. If you want to be sure his soul can depart in peace, you'd be wise to take care of that. Holy Mary, Mother of God, if my father's soul is at risk because of me, I'll never forgive myself. What should I do? No, don't worry. It usually only requires a trifle. All you have to do is donate some of his belongings to those in need of charity. Right, right. But what? Money? Or food? Something more personal. Maybe his funeral shroud. Of course, of course. That's a good idea. I'll take it to someone needy right away. Wait a moment. You have to watch over your father. I'll take it to them. You do that for me? Thank you. Go to the infirmary at the monastery. There's a lot of people in need there. I mean, how convenient. He lives, he lives nearby. We can just go. 
and eat from pot. Because I'm a pig now. I hope I can be of some humble. Of course. I have the shroud. Have you now? Good work. Yes. Well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. It was. That's also why. That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. He's inside. Oh, I saw him go fuck. in. Shice. Henry, delay them. What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. Uh, I'll see you uh, let's go. Come on! Break it down! Do it. Okay. Of course I need to lockpick it. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. And I'm a little drunk. We can get some of this stuff like that. He swindled me too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard! Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go! Wasn't that hard. Rufian, Rufian, Rufian. Okay. That's only free. Yay, I completed the quest. That's just amazing. Yeah, okay. So? I, I suspect that... Jeez. Oh, that's Stalmer, right? Stephanie. I think I'm going to do that later. So I'm pretty sure that will be enough for now. So I will see you next time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have like a mini announcement to make. Uh, sh I think I'm getting a new microphone pretty soon. So the sound quality will be even better than it is now. And it will be less crackling, popping and stuff like that. So. I guess that's good for you, me, everyone. Anyways, I'm just so drunk, so I'm just gonna jump into the space and sleep. Goodbye.